Yeah, this is David Rock Nelson again. I want, like I said, I want to apologize for having my mind in the gutter yesterday, sending all those messages, reminding people. Hey, 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 a friend out there knows Brad, Brad the man. He knows because, you know, it's like I was bragging about, you know, that day that I became a man in the Philippines, you know, with that, with that Filipina gal, you know. Well, you know what happened. I bragged about it in that past video. But I want to apologize for sending it so many times. That's what I apologize about. For, right, for having my mind in a gutter. Like get, my buddy Gil says, my fiend, Gilbert Godfrey. I called him once. I had his number. I called, left him a message. I didn't talk to him live, but I left him a message years ago. But uh, he says, that's disgusting. There's something wrong with you, kid. There's something definitely wrong with you, kid. Yeah. Oh, hi. I'm Gilbert Godfrey. And you're watching USA up all night. And coming up, the movie Hot. It's those hot women. Yeah. And Strangest Dreams, Invasion of the Space Preachers. Coming up on Up All Night. There's something wrong with you, kid. Something definitely wrong with you, kid. You're disgusting. That's disgusting. Yeah, okay. Okay, now, okay, that's my invitation to go with Godfrey, okay. Anyway, I just want to say, you know, my friend Gil, my fiend Gil, not, not Gil, man, like the creature, but I'm talking about Gil, Gilbert Godfrey. You know, anyway, back to what I was saying. I want to apologize for my mind in the gutter for talking about so much about that girl that I was with, or those girls I was with in the Philippines. Like my friend Wellington, Chicago All-Star Wrestling, he says, Rock's a hero. He's the hero of Subic Bay. Because he was nice to the women over there, you know. Yeah, he knows how to treat the women. <laughs> but anyway, back to what I was saying. Today, like, to change the subject now, you know. Don't talk about disgusting stuff no more, Rock. Okay, yes, sir. Aye, aye, sir. So anyway, back to what I was saying. Today is the 41-year anniversary of when Smoke and Joe Frazier beat Muhammad Ali and decked him in the 15th round with that left hook. Bam! It was like a double shot. It was to the body and the body shot and into the head. Went bam, you know. Went bam, you know. Smoke Joe Frazier. Take my glasses off so I look more like him. My boxing heroes. Did I want to be like Smoke and Joe Frazier? I wanted to be a white Joe Frazier when he beat Ali. He was instantly my hero, and that's why I got into boxing because the Smoke and Joe Frazier inspired me when he knocked, knocked down Ali. Somehow he got up, Ali. <laughs> It's like a, Frazier said, it was a b double shot. It was a body shot and then repeat up top. Like, wham, bam! Anyway, like Frazier said, every round with a champ, uh, I heard him. You know, he, he showed me some kind of effect that he got tagged. And, uh, you know, that meant a whole lot to me that, that I was getting to him. You know, when I was talking to the ladies earlier, and they said, the ladies said earlier that, you know, whatever... Things just gonna be all right for Joe Frazier, you know? Any way you look at it. Then Ali says, I'm the greatest of all time. If you wanna lose your money, bet on Sonny. Okay. <laughs> anyway, but like Frank Sinatra sings, that fight took place in New York, New York, in Madison Square Garden. Like Frank Sinatra says, New York, New York, those summertime blues are leaving today. I want a brand new start of it in old New York. I want to wake up in a city that never sleeps. I want to be the king of the hill, top of the heap. Da -na -na -na, da -na -na -na. Oh, summertime blues da -na 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 -na. are leaving today. I want a brand new start of it in old New York. Yeah, I gotta go to New York. Eh? Okay, thank you, Rock. And uh, I think Simon will be pleased, uh, you know, on that show, you know, to pick the best singer. Yeah, Simon will say, Simon will say, uh, you know, horrendous. That was horrendous. No, I think that was awesome. Yeah, I should, I should be, uh, I should win that singing contest on TV. Okay, I'll see you. It's March 8th.
2012. The 41-year anniversary when Smokin' Joe Frazier knocked down Muhammad Ali in the 15th round. Ali somehow got up. His cheek was swollen up like a grapefruit, and Frazier won a unanimous 15-round decision.